Villagers say their families lived here for generations, farming apples and corn before big industry moved in. Now, many of their children are falling sick. The government says they're planning to move us, but I'm not sure, says this mother. Her one year old boy is one of more than 850 children who've tested positive for excessive levels of lead in their blood, all of them living near the Dongling Lead and Zinc Smelting Plant near Fengxiang County in Shangxi Province. It's a lead poisoning crisis that's also struck a township in Hunan province, where more than 1,350 children living near a manganese smelting plant run by a different company recently also tested for high blood lead levels. In that case, two executives have been detained and authorities are searching for the general manager. Officials say the plants in both provinces have since been shut down. This man who claims to be a plant worker says he feels dizzy and tired. Pollution hotspots are not uncommon in China, where health and environmental safety have at times been sacrificed for relentless economic growth. Two years ago, China was even accused of exporting lead poisoning, leading to a massive recall of lead-painted toys that had been shipped around the world. On the home front, these are the victims. Lead poisoning can happen any number of ways, by ingesting lead-contaminated air, water, food or soil. With children, it's especially dangerous because they go outside, they play in the dirt, it gets on their hands, in their mouths and poisons their bodies. Once lead is absorbed by the bloodstream, it will stay there for a while, but eventually it will deposit into uh, the soft tissue, into bone. Lead burden in the body can remain in the bones for several decades. Doctors say chronic exposure to lead can cause death or severe developmental problems in children, leading to extreme behavioral changes, even mental retardation. In Fengxiang County, government officials have pledged to move residents away from the plant as soon as possible, but residents fear it won't be soon enough. Before the factory opened, my apples were nice and delicious, this man says. Now they're mangled. They say the lead has destroyed their crops, poisoned their children, and stolen their livelihood. Emily Chang, CNN, Fengxiang County, China.